all this tiger tiger woods, y'all. Now let me just for for let me get a show of hands for all of y'all who when the reports came out that Tiger Woods was in a traffic accident involving nobody but his damn self leaving a house at two o'clock in the damn morning with no shoes on and you know he issuing statements saying my wife had nothing to do with this she's a courageous woman blah 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 we all knew cover up this motherfucker is covering up for something and then, not even a day or so after, our only shit start coming out the woodworks about how Tiger is cheating on Ellen and he fucking with this jump out for three years, Jamie Grubbs, who, after three years of being his jump off, she decides to come forward and say, not only have I been screwing with him for three years, I've got text messages and voicemails to prove it. And here we go with the with a voicemail. Peep it. Hey, it's uh it's Tiger. I need you to do a huge favor. Um can you please uh take your name off your phone? My wife went through my phone and uh baby calling you. So if you can please take your name off it. And uh they call it just have it as a number. Dumb, did it dumb, dumb, dumb. Tiger, why would you be leaving breadcrumbs? Okay, see, that's just all kind of dumb right there. That you would be leaving voice messages, sending text messages, and e because now, see, it makes perfect sense. Why Ellen went upside your motherfucking head with them damn golf clubs, okay? And see, and then this bitch, Jamie, sells her story to Us Weekly. First of all, let me just say this. See, Tiger, this is what you get for fucking them white girls, okay? And I know you motherfuckers gonna be sending me comments saying, you know, I'm, hype, I'm hating on the white chicks. No, I'm not. I'm saying that white girls do shit differently than black girls. That's all I'm saying. This bitch sells her story to Us Weekly for a reported $100,000. Now, bitch, how dumb can you be? Because he would have gave you a million just to shut the fuck up. See, because a black chick gonna look at that as a business arrangement. Okay? A million dollars can do a whole lot better for me than $100,000. And motherfucker, I'm gonna treat myself not cheat myself, okay? That's just point blank period, okay? Because now what's about to happen? Well, we don't know, but we could just assume that maybe Ellen's going to take that ass to the bank quicker than that motherfucker can scream for, <laughs> okay? And it's his own motherfucking fault. So next time, Tiger, when you want to do big boy shit and think you can damn handle screwing around with these damn bitches, Use your motherfucking head. Use your motherfucking head. Next up on the list. Now this motherfucker is about the biggest, dumbest motherfucker I can, I, I mean, just dumb, okay? Shaq Diesel. This motherfucker Shaq is so motherfucking stupid. Okay, now, a couple of years, a little over a year or so ago, him and Shawnee was on the brink of divorce. And, you know, I don't know because it was, you know, reports about her and, you know, his money and her maybe creeping with a trainer and him creeping with bitches. But we already knew Shaq got some whole tendencies. I mean, and he nasty than a motherfucker because he fucked with Superhead. And if just me personally, if I was Shawnee, I wouldn't have wanted to fuck. I wouldn't want to fuck nobody behind Superhead. That's just me. Okay. But Shawnee forgave and forget that's what we thought obviously that's what Shaq thought too because they back on and popping right so then a couple of months ago he all back in the news you know when not for kicking it with somebody's fiance then here again he's allegedly 
kicking it with or have had relations with Damian Wilkins, BM Latasha Lee. And for you dumb motherfuckers who don't know what a BM is, it ain't no motherfucking bowel movement. It's a motherfucking baby mama, okay? So he creeping with old boy's baby mama. And a lot of people are like, well, wait, wait, wait. How in the hell was Shaq able to do all this creeping? Where was Shawnee? Well, Shaq didn't want Shawnee living in Cleveland with him for obvious reasons. So this motherfucker can live a single life and shit, okay? And leave her stuck with them damn kids. Oh, but Shawnee. See, now that bitch, she's a smart bitch. I knew she was a smart bitch back in the gap when they was separated and then all this stuff about her, like, putting up money, putting up money, okay? Because I knew she was smart. Bitch, use your head. If, if, if a lot more of you hoes can use your heads, okay? Where was Shawnee, y'all? You know what that bitch did? She moved back to L.A. and claimed residency. Why do you ask? Because I asked the same thing. Well, what was so important about her claiming residency in L.A.? I tell you why. Because that bitch can get alimony and 50% of that damn money. Whoop, whoop, okay? He finna have to make it rain all over her ass. That's the difference, motherfuckers, between the white bitches and the black bitches. Because I ain't finna chase you with golf clubs and shit. I ain't finna break a motherfucking nail. I know that it's more than one motherfucking way to skin that damn cat. And I'm finna get your ass. You gonna hurt me, but I'm gonna hurt you. What's the one thing that's gonna get you is when I get in them damn pockets. Hello? So, next time, Shaq, use your motherfucking head for more than a hat rack, okay? Pleasure, Pete. Now, this situation is, is really kind of touchy-touchy, mainly because I really want to give Pleasure, Pete, the benefit of the doubt. I really want to believe that he was not fucking with little kids because that's all kinds of wrong and I really feel like if it is true then his ass needs to be lynched by his dick if that's true okay but I'm just you know gonna play both sides here with this with this situation that pretty Ricky kick pleasure Pete out of the group because of the allegations of him molesting his niece. That's why Pretty Ricky kicked him out of the group. And then they say, you know, that on Twitter, now, because i seen the tweet, where the chick sent Spectacular and said, why, you know, you ain't defending your brother and those uh, allegations of him molesting his niece. And Spectacular gonna say, how you know about that? Them documents were supposed to be sealed. That's all kind of wrong because you're insinuating that it's true. Now, if it is true, okay. But even then, that's some whole ass shit, Speck. Because Pleasure P did not once say nothing bad about you wearing them little, them little red panties grinding up on that chair like he was doing. He didn't say shit about that shit. I know Pleasure P got an assistant. He should have a manager. He should have somebody around him in his camp that ought to know about these damn allegations to say, Sir, nigga, you need to be paying that shit so you know we keep that tucked up under the rug. I mean, this is surely, he could have made a payment plan. He could have did something. But all of this is coming about because you didn't pay your lawyer. That's all kinds of dumb. Then you deserve that shit. Because I'm telling you, that's some shit that I would think if you did, you would. I mean, because this is like worse than some R. Kelly shit. If you did that shit, I mean, why you didn't pay your lawyer? Hey, it is what it is. I do not create the news, but I will break the news, okay? I will. So if you motherfuckers going to continue to do this dumb shit, Hey, then you just giving us something to keep on talking about. Stop doing that dumb shit, then we wouldn't have shit to say. That's it. Yeah.